All right, just like I told you, we'll make a little video on how we do this fender skirt. I hope you enjoyed last night. Did what I could do in the hour or whatever. We didn't want to make it too long. It takes too long to upload it on YouTube for, for that. So we just left it. We didn't do anything else. And besides that, I put my day in. But anyways, today we've had a lot of visitors and we've had a lot of fun. Hey, me, baby. Had a lot of fun today. Um, as we get going, um, now it's time to make the video and get this stuff done because that's what we do and uh, that's what we're going to do. As we look at this here, I have come down here at both ends, at the front, and I have to come down here at the back. At the Okay, I'm going to just show you at the front first before I take off on Jolene. As I come in there like that, I could not run it off and make it look nice, and I didn't really want to make it come to a point or anything. So I'm going to leave it like this. What I did is I cut it off. I'm on the lowest spot there. What I'll do is I'll weld a little weld on this. It'll maybe a piece of square tubing that comes down and then squares that off. And what I'll do, what I'm saying is, I'll add a piece of round rod right there. So it'll look, it's cut off. you know what I'm trying to say, don't you, baby? It's, I'll add a piece of round rod on this side, a little piece right there, and cut it off like that so it squares up to it so it finishes it. That's all I'm doing. I want to have a nice finish there. When I come around the back, we measured from the center, and then we went over 14 inches, and then we seen what it looked like and whatever. As we get into it, uh, as we get into it, I have to have a finish on the back side too. I don't want to come just to a point and feather off. So what has to happen is, is what I'm doing is, this is what I've done with a piece of tape, just looking at it. As I'm saying, if I try to cut it off here, I can like feather it off, I guess cut it off and have it come to a point. I don't want that. I want a straight edge. As I come over here, I get the round rod here, I have a chance to build this down. This is straight along here. I have a chance to build this down so it's straight with this, build this out straight all the way along. And then I can, yeah, I can cut the fender skirt off and we'll meet it straight. So what we'll do is we'll build this down, we'll weld round on this part and build this up so it comes down and we can cut this off. I think we're going to about here somewhere, about there somewhere. We're going to make that straight. So what we're going to do is we're going to, this, the body's going to come around like this. I hope you haven't got you confused. I'm adding, I'm going to add material to the car on this edge and then cut this edge off here and cut this bottom one off and then have a square finish. So it's going to come in there and it's, look, and it's going to be made to look like it fits instead of feather off. I do not want it coming to a point. So I'm going to make it look like it fits. Even though that looks like that right now, I do not want that finish. And I do not want that finish on the back. So I'm just letting everybody know before you get started. When you're making a fender skirt like this, there has to be a finish point on either end. All right. yeah. So what I'm going to do this basic moment, I'm just going to go on along here. Just scuff off the little tops of the welds, just a little bit, so I can lay a piece of paper on there. I'm thinking the fender skirt's going to end right where that smoke mark is, right around there somewhere. We're going to make a square piece, come up, square it off here, and square off the finish, so we finish it. Everything is just tacked right now. I did do nothing to it after we shut the video off. That's it. We'll leave it, and we'll show the whole thing. As I get looking at it, I like pulling on this. And the reason I'll tell you I like pulling on this, because I want this shape. I want that shape, nice and round. When it's round, like that, cannot see anything in it. It's like a ball. When you roll a ball over, it's hard to tell because it's round if there's any. So that's what I'm doing. I'm flooding it out with roundness. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a pattern for that now. And bear with me. I did not set up for this. I just said we're making a video. It's time because Joanne's going to have a certain amount of time to get on the computer. So I'll do what I did last night. 
And I know right now that that paper is a little bit shy. And I'll tow enough off to get it all the way around. Quite a finish skirt, eh? I did a little bit of fiberglassing in there. And you can see how that fiberglass is on there. I, I did all the welds. I put the I put the resin in the fiberglass and made it thinner and just kind of put it on nice and thin. As we have this going here, we're going to try to make a pattern the best we can with what we have. A little bit of tape and paper. See if I can tape that right on there. I'm going to pull it all the way ahead because... And I would have my assistant, Jolene, help me, but she's running the camera. <laughs> there we go. I nailed her. Nailed her! I got her. I'm going to stick on there for a second. I'm going to piece up here. Leave that for a second. Huh. It'd be nice if I could get the straight edge on the bottom edge. That would be really nice. I don't know if that's straight yet or not, but I'm just going with it. And I'll know, I'll know more. I'll know more as I make the other side. Whereas when I get around the back and take a look at it, you know, if I want it up or down, you get it from the back of it and look at it, look at it. Um, that's what you're doing. You're, what you're looking to see if you can see any imperfections in it. That's what you're looking to see. Now, what I've tried to do, if you can take notice, the paper is flat all the way around. Um, when it, like if you can tell the papers, I have to keep it like, that all the way around. If I do not, I will not get a true read. And a true read is the truth. There's not much of that going around nowadays, but <laughs> we're going to go for it. That's what we want. That's what we enjoy. And that's what we're going to do. Pull this off. It's holding it down there a little bit, I can see, or I can tell. Now, as you can tell, that paper is just hanging there. And that's, that's good. I like that. Enjoy that. Now, I'm going to have to get a marker. I had a marker here last night. It was a, a monster of a marker, but it was a marker. I was going to show, Jolene said, why don't you mark it with your finger? Oh, there's the, there's the question of the night. We had a little, we were talking. Me and Jolene talk every day. We're together 24-7, and we enjoy each other immensely. So, as I'm doing this, she said, why did you not just rub your finger around it? And I said I could have, but it's hard to rub my finger on the round rod to leave a mark. The round rod is round. It does not give me a crease. Now, if it was on a crease, yes, I could. I could very well do that very easily. But as we got, the, as we got this paper on here, I can see OK. <laughs> I can see OK what's going on here. I'm going to go get the drop light. Where did I have that last up front? I get the drop light. And then everybody will see all, all too much better. We can see that, obviously. Jeez. Jeez. It's a marker and a half, that one. My off already. 
ready? It's the one I want, isn't it? like it to hold it on the ramrod itself and do it that way. Sometimes you try things, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Just go with the flow. That didn't work for me so I took off and did it this way and it seems to be working. Seems to be working. And all I'm doing is holding the paper down. The marker's a little wide there but it's on the, it's on the rod so So well in the marker section, did we, baby? Alrighty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that sort of guess with that big line. I guess I'll cut that big line right in the center is what I'll do. Um, so I'm going to cut in the center of the big mark line. I'm going to do. So. Scissors. Just looking around for them. I know they're here somewhere. So, I always say the better pattern you have the better results you have. With this fender skirt, it will be the same, <laughs> but with the big marker that I'm using, I'll have to take the blame. Hey, baby. Arts and crafts. That's what this is. Arts and crafts. Well, Monday's a hard day to get going. But we're cruising. We're cruising. Look, finish grenade, baby. I think. <clears throat> hmm. I might leave that a little bit excess on at the bottom, and I'll tell you the reason why. Why not? I cut it off maybe later. And that's probably why I'm going to use it. I'm just going to leave that little bit there. I'm going to grab a table and a piece of metal. I'm going to shear it, get this thing cut as quick as possible. <clears throat> See what we got. I used to play hockey, my tongue would be out full time. 
Just a stick handle on that wood, huh? All time. Just clean the metal off fast as I can. Now we're gonna get our pattern. It's right behind Jolene there. Yeah. I left that strip on down there because because I can cut it off after. Whoop, whoop, we can. Looks like we should be able to get two of this, baby. That's good, eh? So, as I'm just checking that, just for, for us, I used to have some magnets around here one time. You could just go punk, 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 and stop that all on there. Um, I'm not sure where those are at. Magnets be gone. Uh, that marker still, that we got here. As I use this big marker, I know we're not set up, but this, you know, this is how I do it, man. This is how I do it. <laughs> this is how I do it. Um, what I'll do is, when I mark this on here, I know that the marker that hits the metal has to come off because the shape I want is underneath of it, if you know what I'm trying to tell you. So it doesn't matter how big the mark is, it's just the, the, the front closest mark to it. Now that, t that mark right there, that's the mark I want when I cut that off, because that's where the paper is. That mark right there. I want this mark. So if there's any confusion, I want the mark that's, that has nothing on it, or the thing that has nothing on it. So that's my pattern. I'll leave that there, precious as it is. Uh, I'm going to grab a pair of shears to cut that off, just so I can do it quickly. I wouldn't probably use shears any other time. I'd probably get Jolene to help me hold it, and I would cut it maybe with something else. But that's not going to happen. The shears, do we know where those are? The shears are? Sorry about running around, but it is what it is. Damn it. thought they were on that thing over there. Right with you. Hmm. Well, these ones are going to work or not, but there's a pair. Ouch, 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 ouch. There's a blooper. Oh, I just broke my foot. I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> there they are right there, plugged in the wall. <laughs> These ones are garbage. Well, not garbage, but you know how that goes. So we call too much stuff.
you stick with me? I'll have your fender skirt in a minute. Have your fender skirt in a minute. That's my pattern. Just put that flat on the floor. Um, I need a hammer to knock down the edges. <clears throat> Sometimes that cuts decent and sometimes it stretches it. This time wasn't too bad. This time wasn't too bad. Now, with a fender skirt and a flat piece of metal, you generally don't weld on a flat piece of metal, no. Not at all because there's no... All right. What I will do is I will make the top fit and I will cut the bottom off after if I have to. <coughs> And as I'm going there, it doesn't look too bad. I'll push it around. Ooh, love it. So, this is what I'm gonna do. I generally, generally, do not wheel the fender skirts. And what I mean by wheel them is use the, is use the English wheel. I generally don't do that. Usually what I'll do is I'll come in here, I will roll the piece of metal, and then I'll, face it to the fender skirt. And the reason why I'm saying is when I roll this up, when I roll it in here, it's going to roll like this. It's going to bend this metal. But it's going to go like this. So then what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to apply it with it bent and, and push it on to that fender skirt. When I apply it and I have to push it on to weld it, to hold it down, that's going to put pressure against the metal. So that means when I get this all welded on, this piece of metal is still going to be wanting to be pushing, be pushing off the fender skirt, if you know what I'm going to try to tell you. So that's what gives you, or that's what gives me, or, or will give us that, that, that feeling of, it'll give that feeling of what? Um, it'll make the metal or the fender skirt feel like it has strength. So I'm not, I'm not welding a flat piece of metal on it. I'm not going to go over and bang it with a hammer and, and put it through a wheel. And no, I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to roll it. That's it. And when I roll it, it bends the metal. All we have to do is put a little bend in it. We don't have to put a huge one in it. You've got to bend it. See how the fender skirt is like this? Okay. When I apply the fender skirt, when I had to, I had to open it up to, to get the fender skirt on, come over here and do it, I guess. When I have to open it up to get the fender skirt on, that is giving me, that metal is giving me the shape that it wants to come out. It's giving me that roundness. It wants to pull off. It's giving, it, giving itself strength. It's not just flat and oil can. Con and give me contour. Exactly, baby. This piece around here, around this part, as you can tell, if you come back this side, it's, it's, this stuff isn't quite important when you're building a fender skirt if you're doing it the way I'm doing it. I'm going to put the fender skirt on, under pressure and it's going to make itself be what it needs to be. But as I have this on here, this is round here and this is all round here. This is not just going straight here. This has got a nice round shape to it. So when I put this on here, it's going to keep that round shape all the way through the running thing because I've got it bent. I've got it rolled. Here we go. Let's put it on. Let's put it on. There was no trick to the rolling part. It's just I just wanted to roll it so it went out around. This round rod is going to hold this shape so it's this way. This shape here will be done because it's holding it out, making itself high. Here we go. Let's see what happens here. This is generally a two-person thing, but I am going to I'm going to say I'm going to do it. You can see how it's fighting me. That's a good thing. 
a good thing it's fighting me. Huh? It might help. And as I come over here, I just wanted to try to get this, trying to fight that back there a little bit. As I get here, now, you can see how round that is, how that's fighting that. I'm going to wherever it's the tightest is where I'm going to nail it. That makes sense. Yeah. I might have to cut that off and come down some more. Who knows? Just trying to get a hell of a place for myself. Actually, I'm going to go with... It'll just take a second. Bear with me. Once I get it tacked on there, then the fender scourge is done. Then it's, then it's the job of the welder to weld it on without distorting it. So, that's what I'm going to do. Now that is fighting me the whole way, so you know it's going to be a good fender skirt because it's fighting me to come off. When I nail it down, it's still going to be fighting to come off. You know what I'm trying to tell you. down some. Alrighty. I'm going to cut this down a little bit. You can see where it's hitting there. I'm going to cut that down a little bit. Plug the light back in and do that so many times. Anyways, what I'm trying to do is I'm just going to grind this down a little bit and make it fit nicer, that's all. If you do not have one of these, you should. It's called a push stick. You know, third arm, whatever you want to call it, you know. I can push and weld at the same time. They're very nice to... Nice and tight. And this will just kind of walk it right around. So you know if I'm using a push stick to push the metal in, the metal is still trying to come off the car because I've rolled it.
the shape this way will become from the round rod on the bottom. Okay, when that's welded on this side. So as the fender's here and your and your front fender skirt is here, then you don't see nothing in it because it looks round. Now I'm just sticking this on here. And it very well could be cut off again if it had to be, but I'm just tacking it on here to get started. You can see how that's still coming, pushing off there. It's funny, eh? Still pushing off, well, you know. So. I can come along in here. I will tack that on. You see how it's pushing off? Look at the pressure on that. So as I push that on there, See how, how strong that's going to be once that's pushed on there. If you can tell, like it's, it's push, trying to push itself off. I'll clamp it there. I should probably go on the inside and just tack that along. Get some vice grips here. And that's basically how we're going to make the fender skirt. It's pretty that basic, you know. Um, <clears throat> if you have a a different, what can I say? We have round rod on our wheel lip, and I like round rod because I can weld it on. If I had a, a rotten fender on the lip, I can cut it off and round rod it if I want to and still get that feel. I can seam seal it from the inside so it's water secured, <clears throat> and I can make any shape I want to. Uh, that's basically, This thing fitting right. What is going on here, man? What's going on here, man? And I will only go underneath here and tack. I will only go underneath here and tack where it's tight. I will not tack anywhere else. If it's not tight, I don't tack it. Simple as that. That's a push stick if you want to make yourself one. That's a push stick. And then when we come along in here after a bit, we can cut. After we come along here, we'll cut this off where it's not the length we want. Very good. Awesome, I say. Put that on there like I am. They don't want to stay on. Do it again. And it's getting longer in the back, and the weld marks, the weld marks will tell me where I got to cut it. You know what I'm trying to tell you. You know what I'm trying to tell you. Come on.
not. So. So now, that's what we want. That's what we want. See that? That's, if I put a flat piece of metal on that, there'll be no shape to it. So when I'm rolling it on the roller, that's giving me, that's giving that piece of metal, is, it wants to push itself off what I've just welded on, which gives it tension. Um, this shape here is given by the round rod in the fender. This shape here is rounded by this edge down here so you do not see anything. When we're done, we'll weld it all up all the way around, all the way along, we'll do the whole thing. We will then fill the fender skirt, we'll grind it and fill the fender skirt to the car, and then we'll just snip it off. That's a fender skirt for a Bugatti. I don't know how. Also, this is what we got to do here. We're going to take a little piece of round rod, like I already explained before, I just don't want to slow in. We're going to take a little piece of round rod, and we're going to weld it in there. So it comes down, it meets it, and squares off flush. So it don't go below that. And we'll do the exact same thing in the back. So they look like they fit the car. So right back here, we'll have to cut them off. And we'll build this piece around here to meet it and square it off. And uh, there's a fender skirt. We have to make the tabs that take the wheel off. We have to do that yet. Um, did not do that. We could have done that before we even put this on. We did not do that. I was thinking about putting the metal on. wasn't thinking about attaching it. We'll just leave it welded on. <laughs> no. Actually, we'll, we will do something there. Maybe we'll take, we'll take the wheel off. We can still get the wheel off with that on. Pull that wheel off, and then we'll get up in the backside and go for it. And all we have to do is loosen the wheel nuts off, and it should come right off. And then we'll get on the backside and figure something out what we want to do there. Whether we want to put round rod up in there and put it into a washer, or if we want to put... I think they're on the Bugattis, they had some kind of lock there. We might have to make something and walk to the fender so we can lock them on like they did theirs or whatever we're going to do. Do you want them hidden or do you not want them hidden? Will be the decision we make when it comes time. Um, I'm gonna look at this. It's hard to tell at this present moment, but as I'm back here, as I'm looking across the street across the back, I want that to continue all the way around. I cannot get that look because this is hanging down past the, past the, the fender skirt. I've got to cut that off yet with a zip cut. I don't think you need to watch me cut that off. This has got to be cut off here yet. All that excess along the bottom, that's all going to be cut off. You can actually take a quick peek underneath, maybe have a, what, what's going on, you know, so show what's going on. What's the underneath of her look like? I don't know. But yeah, that's what it is right now, now at the present moment. Um, we're just basically getting there, but that is a fender skirt, short and sweet. Yeah, it's cool. I like it. Do you like it? It's kind of, what? We haven't, I, I should say, I really haven't had the time to step back and take a look at it because we just put it on, and uh, that's what we did. We, fed, we, we round rotted it. Um, we attached it to the car. We used the washers for the, for the distance between the fender. We round rotted it. Then we made sure everything was round and everything was in place. And then we took the piece of metal, we made a pattern of a piece of paper. We took the piece of metal, we cut it, we rolled it just to give it that strength that we want. And that's why the fender skirt is, I'm able to weld that on there and have no, no oil cans is because that's what we're doing. If you can picture it, the metal is trying to push itself off the fender skirt. It works. All right, I hope you enjoy that. We're going to take this time and sit back and look at it for a while and see how much we enjoy it. And then we're going to try to figure out how we're going to connect it and that sort of stuff. Jolene is going to weld these on here. She's not doing anything to the 40 right now. We're on the Bugatti. Um, she's going to weld them up, and we'll all go to the other side, and I will try to get to the other side to make that one fit. I still got to do the other side. There's two, you know. So I got to go to the other side and do that one. We'll let her weld that, as like I said. Yeah. If you want to make a fender skirt, you can make a fender skirt any shape that you want in any way you want. But 
to me, I find that the, the round rod and the, the rolling of the metal is the, cheap, is the easiest way to do it. Um, I've, I've not hit the, hit the metal with a hammer or dented it in any way. I didn't spend hours working it. I fooled it and made it think that it needed to be strong by rolling it one way. And I think it's okay. Have a good Monday, everybody. That's a fender skirt in no time. Man. Hope she loves me. Have a good one.